We'll use lockout station 5 for the contractors working on YCV01 today. Let's get the isolations happening so it's safe to work on. To isolate the conveyor that needs work, the permit officer begins by taking the necessary locks and key from the allocated lockout station. The master lock is then placed on the lockout station. To make sure the conveyor is safe to work on, the relevant equipment is isolated. The isolation points are then locked using a scissor lock, a padlock taken from the lockout station, and a filled out danger tag. They then return to the lockout station where the master lock is removed. The key to the locks on the isolation points is securely placed inside the lockout station. The station is then locked again with the master lock. This ensures that the isolation points cannot be accessed so that work can be carried out safely. The correctly filled out permit is then clipped onto the top of the lockout station. On-site workers are now able to sign onto the permit and attach their personal danger tags and locks. Welcome to the Calibre Permit to Work training module. This short tutorial will teach you how to navigate through this training. Note that if you are experienced with traditional gaming controls, you may change to these from the menu, accessed by pressing the escape button. If you forget any of the instructions mentioned, they will be shown in the bottom right corner of your screen throughout the module. Alright, let's get started. In order to look around the environment, move your mouse to the edges of the screen. Go ahead, try it now. Well done. Now click somewhere on the ground to walk there. Great work. Now that you know how to move around, let's begin the training. In the top left corner of your screen, you will see your current objective. It says to talk to the site supervisor. A label on the screen will indicate where he is. Look around until you can see him. Then click on the ground to move until you are just in front of him. If for any reason you get lost or forget your current objective, you can press O to repeat the current objective and face you in the correct direction. Now that you're close to the site supervisor, put your mouse over him and left click to talk. That's it! Hey mate, how's it going? No worries. Today you'll be replacing an idler on YCV01. Here are your locks and key for the lockout stations. Go and see the permit officer in the substation and sign on to the relevant permit, and you'll be ready to go. New objective. Enter the substation. New objective. Enter the substation. Speak to the permit officer. Hi, what job are you working on today? Thanks for seeing me mate, but unfortunately you need to provide me with more information. Please try again. Thanks for seeing me mate, but unfortunately you have given me the incorrect details for your work today. You should be working on the idler replacement for YCB01. Thanks for seeing me mate. Please go and find the correct permit on these lockout stations here and call me over when you're ready. New objective. Sign on to the correct permit. I'm sorry, but this is the incorrect permit for the work you were doing on YCV01 today. Please look again. That's the right permit. Go ahead and sign on and attach your personal danger tag and lock. New objective. Add your okay, you're free to begin work. New objective. 
can now leave the substation and begin work. New objective. Begin work. Okay everyone, the job's all done for today. Bus leaves in 10 minutes guys. Cheers. New objective. Sign off the permit. New objective. Sign off the permit. Here you go. Please sign off. Thanks, mate. Here you go. Please sign off. Thanks, mate. New objective. Board the bus. New objective. Board the bus. Well done. You have demonstrated competency in these four key areas. 1. Work cannot be started until you have signed on to the appropriate permit. 2. You must understand what job you will be working on in order to sign on to a permit. 3. To sign on to a permit, the permit officer needs to be present. And 4. In order to finish work and leave for the day, the permit needs to be signed off of and your personal danger tag and lock removed by you. Thank you. You may now exit the module.